Hello, it's Harley here. Today I wanted to show you something that we recently acquired. And that is a mint in the box rival air cleaner. I've taken it out of the box already, but here's the here's the box. It's got a very convoluted, complicated cardboard container <laughs> inside, but uh, it was new in the box. Um, it's got cooking on one side, and it's got dog on the other side, smoking on one side, and then here's the back, and it was $5.99 at one of the friendly neighborhood local thrift stores. So, um, this was back from 1986. Not sure what this means here. It says isolated um, LUB AP 87, either that or 13 April 87. I'm um, not sure exactly what that means. However, this is the model 2800 for those interested. And these were common in the mid 80s because for one thing, uh, smoking indoors was considered to be everybody's you know, privilege, and if you didn't like it, then you had to buy one of these. However, that obviously migrated into smoking outdoors is more polite. But in the 80s, a lot of households had these. Um, several people that I knew of in the 80s that nobody even in the household smoked, they had these around just in case someone came over who did. So it was originally sold, uh, the date is 7 of 86. For $4.99, I am not sure where this sticker is from here. Compare at. So I don't know what that means, but there was another thrift store sticker on top of it. So someone bought this from a different thrift store and then ended up not taking it out either. I busted it out. So there's the box. Of course, it comes with the instructions see what we got here instructions number one read all instructions okay save these instructions Let's see how they were back in 1986 do not immerse cord plug or unit in water do not use while bathing you know in case you want to clean the air while you're in the tub other than that it only it really does only have sort of you know do not use outdoors, you know, in case you want to clean up the neighborhood. Uh, yeah. But anyway, it only has really uh, intelligent reminders. Uh, there's nothing in here about like, you know, don't use while driving, don't use with a selfie stick, you know, stuff like that that's required for modern idiots out there. Um, yeah, it can also be used as a personal fan instead of a air cleaner if you would prefer. You can enjoy a cooling breeze while you cook, so read or watch TV. Anyways, pause there if you want to read this, otherwise I'm about to flip it over. Okay, on the back side, you have the instructions on how the dual filter works, filter replacement. I'd almost like to write to this address and see what happens if I request a new filter. <laughs> um, this particular instruction was copyright 2 of 82 so obviously they made the same model from the early 80s to the mid 80s at least it's also wall mountable so it had a full one-year warranty okay that's the instructions it also came with the air cleaner cartridge which is still sealed it has a little tear there but it's it's still in the packaging. I'm not so sure. It says unscented. I am going to open it up since it does have a little rip already. I wouldn't say it's unscented. It sort of smells, smells like a combination of glue and old plastic. So anyways, I guess at least it doesn't smell like flowers or daisies or 
whatever. Sunshine and rain at the same time. I'm going to preserve its integrity by putting it in a Ziploc, Ziploc bag, or as we affectionately call them around here, a boulder bag, because they came from Aldi. Okay, and then here's the unit itself. It's a rather cool little device. It's very difficult to turn it, but it turns. And I've already popped the screws out because I have a feeling that after sitting for so long, the motor is probably gonna need serviced. So I'm gonna do that as soon as I figure out how to get the blade off. It's probably just a press fit. I have to do this off camera because I need both hands. All right, there you go, a little C-frame motor, not a speck of dust inside. Um, here we have a little in the box dust, but that's all. Uh, nothing at all on the inside of that. Uh, the cord is still wound up. It's probably never even been plugged in. There's not even any little, you know, abrasions on the metal prongs that indicate it's been plugged into an outlet before. So, anyhow, I'm going to shoot a little oil in here. And what we'll do is I'll press down here. There's a little tiny oil port right there. You're not going to see it, but I'm aiming for it. A little bit of oil is probably enough. Hold it at an angle to let it soak in. Unfortunately, it didn't leak, but I will dab at it with a paper towel, just in case. All right. And then we'll do the top bearing. You're not going to be able to see it from that camera angle, but there is also a little oil notch on this side. Give it a little bit of a boudoir oil right there. does not run everywhere all over the place okay we got some nice new oil in there spins very freely probably wasn't necessary but hey just in case Put the blade back on all right it was level with the top there back on just like so and it had two Phillips screws one on each side see how easy that is to clean and service none of this crap with the plastic pieces and this and that but you have to disengage, and then things break, and then things are glued in. Nope, this is just a couple of screws. But sometimes you get the Chineseium out there, and they can't even be bothered. All right, I'm going to plug it in over here for the first time. Okay, this is the... Uh, inaugural run. So if we go from off to on. Oh. Turn it a little so that uh, it's not blowing directly on the camera. Oddly, it's sort of... There's no filter in it at all. There's nothing in it but the motor, and yet somehow it still has that, like, 80s smell of fresh linen or whatever, you know, the 80s smell, like sort of a uh, citrus chemical smell, citrusy chemical. So, um, and then here we have a low speed. I don't recall it saying anything about that, but okay. Maybe it did and I was not observant.
Yeah, it doesn't actually say anything about it. Huh. Okay. Well, so who knew? It's a two-speed. That's high. And that's low. And it's very stiff to turn it, which I guess would be a good thing if you don't want it turning by itself. And then O double F spells off. Pew. Of course, I'll be letting it run for a little while to break in the bearings because it is brand new. And I'll be adding it to the ever-growing collection of uh, air cleaners. There'll be more videos later on that. But in the meantime, hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And have a great day. We'll see you the next time.